And the next case, Gary Kasparov has Vlak against Luke Van Veli in Tilburg 1997. And it's white to move, but black, of course, is much better. White has four power pawn islands, black only two. The rook is stronger than the minor pieces here. They would need further pieces to cooperate with, while here there are weaknesses in the, on the dark squares. Black can activate the majorities on both wings. The rook can play on both wings in principle on two weaknesses, so black is next to winning. But what should uh, white do here? This is very difficult and deep, as usual for humans, this re-coordination. What to do with the knight? Knight c1. Knight d4, rook d5 is of course a nightmare. And black wins. But knight c1 is relatively best. And now uh, white uh, manages to re-coordinate. b5 is not good. And here knight e2 and white has regained um, coordination. Knight and bishop. Uh, yeah, the bishop light squares at night, dark, then from e2 dark squares and so on. So here's black is better, but it would have been a tough job at the office for Kasparov. While uh, g5, um, then, yeah, in both cases, uh, yeah, black has, of course, is probably winning, has chances, but it's much better than the game, as we will see. And also this. is uh, uh, more tenacious. Because after knight d2 comes rook e5 check and this destroys the harmony in white's cap. Now this breakthrough on the uh, queen side is too strong. For example, after knight f3, b4 would immediately be winning. And the pawn decides the game because winning a minor piece it, it means winning here, of course. Black's king side, a majority will then win if white has only one minor piece remaining. So this directly game over. Yeah, and Kasparov is very strong in this concrete calculation. So here, there is not much chance anymore. What but what now? Now, of course, don't don't rush on the queen side, or whatever. But bring the whole um, pieces forward, advance with everybody. Typical end game strategy. Everybody is coming to win further space. Okay, exchanges uh, relieve the pressure a bit, but not enough as Black's king side is rolling down the board. After d5, I think uh, in this case the rook invades on the on the king side, and in this case the rook invades on the queen side. Yeah, this is basically the big problem of why this principle of two weaknesses play on two wings against such a strong calculator as Kasparov. Nothing can be done anymore. Yeah, and d5, I guess, would be met by taking and rog h2. And then crossing round into the knight check shadow distance. The nightmare distance somehow, yeah. And black wins. <clears throat> Bishop c6, then also. Yeah. This is always the big problem of white. Yeah, and whatever happens, black will win either on the queen side or on the king side or combined. Yeah. So one way to blade king e2, but. Black's forces are coming. Yeah, Bishop c6, then I guess. Yeah, it's quite nice. Now, materially, a pawn, the pawn number of pawns is equal, but black is just too quick. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever happens, black comes first. Also, this line is quite nice. Well, it's a computer line, of course, but... <laughs> Here again, um, knight e2, then the queen tight break decides, and d5 is similar. And not so many pawns remaining. 
but yeah, Black will win on one of the wings. The Rook can play on both. Uh, the Knight is too short-legged. They'll follow the similar finish. King f6, a uh, king f4, and after uh, bishop b1 taking, and even the b pawn doesn't help. White and b takes c6, then a2 taking. Yeah, this is also very beautiful. The knight is completely dominated, but it's the king who's the main problem. And black mates. Yeah, just one tempo, but of course Kasparov had seen that well at once. And Fanvele resigned because they pawn will decide the issue in typical fashion. Yeah, the rook's pawn is the first enemy of the night. A powerful demonstration of concrete calculation and of the superior, superiority of the rook over two minor pieces when there is play on both wings and when the minor pieces have problems to coordinate. But it was quite uh, sharp and Kasparov had to act very precisely to bring his advantage home.